All right, guys, now that we have understood the use state hook, let's take a look at the next hook, which is use effect. This video is going to be an introduction to use effect. And in the subsequent videos, we will take a look at a few examples and dive deeper into the details of the effect hook. All right, let's start by first understanding the motivation for use effect. If you've been working with class components, you would have performed side effects in your components. For example, updating the DOM, fetching data from an API endpoint, and setting up subscriptions or timers. Since the render method would be too early to perform side effects, you had to make use of the lifecycle methods. For example, consider updating the document title to the current counter value. On initial render, you want to set the document title to clicked zero times. So this code goes in component did mount, which is executed only once in the component lifecycle. We then would have a button to increment the count state value. But when count value increments, we also need to update the document title again. And for that, we add the same piece of code in component did update lifecycle hook. This lifecycle method is called anytime the component updates and is perfect for updating the document title. Now let's consider another side effect. Let's go with a timer. On component did mount, we set up a timer to log to the console the string hello every five seconds. We can clear this timer when the component is being removed from the DOM. And we do that in the component will unmount lifecycle method. So our component code is complete and everything works as expected. But you start to wonder if it can be better. Here's the first thing to observe. To update the document title, we are writing the same code twice. Once in component did bound and once in component did update. Exact same code, but twice. The second thing to observe is how the code is together or split apart. The code related to the timer, set interval and clear interval, which are related, are put into different code blocks, that is, different lifecycle methods. The code to update the DOM and set an interval, which are completely unrelated, are put together. Wouldn't it be nice to not repeat code and at the same time, group together only the related code. Well, that is where the effect hook comes into picture. The effect hook lets you perform side effects in functional components while addressing the problems we just discussed. It is a close replacement for component did mount, component did update, and component will unmount. That's right, three lifecycle methods can be handled by the use effect hook. Now that we know why the use effect hook was introduced and what it does, the next step is to learn how to use it. So in the next video, let's start by understanding how we can use the effect hook to set the document title on initial render of the component as well as subsequent renders when the component updates. I'll see you guys in the next one.